Happy Sunday morning. It is Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm at the whitest house of the world. This is, if like Donald Trump lived in Belgium, he would live at this house. I guarantee it. Uh, continue recording. Yes, yes, yes. Continue recording, guys. The internet might crap out. It might be shitty. It might not even be any good. If that's the case, there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to upload it and put it onto YouTube. Again, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We go the distance for you guys. We're going to show you one of the greatest Gabby Van and Nabil collections, I would say, in the world. I was here three or four years ago, and I'm back here again. Yes, this loft, season six, you're going to have an opportunity. A very small one, very tiny, hand-selected by the masters themselves. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. I'm hoping it's working. It's recording. Internet systems aren't the best. Here we go. Oh, Stan Babrinski from Stony Creek says it's 8.25 in the morning. Guys, it's 8.25 in the morning. Have a coffee. Sit down and relax. We're going to White Pigeon Lofts. And guys, it's, uh, it's white. The grass is beautiful. They got deer. They got deer, man. This is all I got to say about that. Here he is, the one and only. This is the son. Hello, everybody. Gear Wagens, your father, Theo. Theo. I was here a few years ago, fantastic pigeons, new with the Gabby Van and the Beals. Now you guys have had them how many years now? Five years? Well, I think seven, eight years. Seven, eight years, yeah. okay. So I came a little later than after you had them. How good are the pigeons? What? How good are these pigeons? I think very, very good. Because your dad had his own family of long distance pigeons. Yeah. And when he retired, he said, this is it. He's going for the good ones. Yeah. And uh, results? Yeah, then we buy a lot of uh, Van der Nabela pigeons. Mm -hmm. We test them, and only the good ones are staying here. And, and you guys test very hard. Very, very hard. You guys are, I, I hate to say it, but you are professionals. You guys are here for the I'm a working professional. Yeah, but, but you and your father, you work together seven days a week. All, all day. And uh, let's just say, uh, the last season that went by with the young pigeons, how, you do, how did you do? I think very well. We you played uh, the first and the second national of 19,000 pigeons. The year before, the second and the sixth national of 20,000. The year before, the first national of 28,000. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. With now, that. <laughs> what's, what's your thought of how are you guys doing this? How are you getting these wins? Is it hard good work, pigeons? Good pigeons, hard work. Hard work. Good, healthy. And uh, again, the base is all Gabby Van der Nabil. Gabby Van der Nabil is 50 to 75 percent in our pigeons. All the time. All the time. What made you guys go with the Van der Nabil blood? What made you select it? Yeah, selected on the races. That's it. Yeah. And and uh, the specialty in your in your flying, you, you guys like what? Young birds is the best. We. Did that here the last year's only young birds. Mm -hmm. This year I'm gonna play my young birds from last year, the young yearling now yes. also. Only the hands. Only the hands. Yes. Again, as we hear, only the hands. Why only the hands? Because I think it's a little bit easier. And I think we can do that better. You think? You think. I don't know. Okay. Uh, hands are a little bit easier. Uh, what do you find with the with the Gabby birds? You find the hands fly better than the cocks? Or it doesn't matter. I can't say that. Last year were two cocks would fly in the first and the second national. So this I thought that a few years ago the hands were better, but last year the cocks were better. So don't don't always bet on the hands, eh? You wanna take us out? We take a look? Yes. We start taking a look, guys. Remember, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction, season six. We will have the white pigeon loft. And it is what that's the racing side. This is the racing side here. You guys put the new Avery's on the front. This is, I think, the nicest loft I've been to. Wow, take a look at this. And how many young pigeons do you race? Uh, normally about 200. 200. 200, 220. Okay. Darkening them? Yes. We started uh, last week. You start them on the dark? Yeah. And your specialty is what? You like the national races? That's the most important. In here in Part Belgium. of the season. And, and in the area you guys live, are you in a good spot, a bad spot? How do you think? The difficult spot of uh, Belgium. What makes this difficult here? We live here on the east side of the country. Mm -hmm. 
when the wind is coming from the north, south, or east, is a very bad place here. We need western wind. So without the wind, it's... Yeah. Now, how do you do when the wind's not in your favor? Bad? Real no. bad? Horrible. On, on national level, very bad. Okay. That's the reason, because an ice patient here is very, very difficult. Then you must live in the, in the middle of the country. Yeah, to That's help better. it out a bit. Yeah. But again, still super pigeons. Now, how long have you guys been racing here? From here, from 12, 15 years. 12, 15 years. Yes. And this was the original setup as you had it. Yeah, so was it original. And last year we built the area. So, and the original... Normally, the pigeons come here. Yeah. They go to there, and there they were clocked. Wow. <laughs> this is a lot of moves, eh? Yeah. Did you lose... <laughs> That's got to be a bit painful. Maybe not. I don't know. And then you, you, you slide those shut, and that's for the... the, the what, a, what a beautiful... And what made you... And then I can, in, in summer, when it's too hot, we can do that also. Ah. So yes. you, you have it like this. Yeah. And, and what made you switch from the, this system to now the fronts? We had... Uh, the other loft also have areas before the lofts. And okay. we think it's better. What makes you think? I don't know. Last time the first and second national came here on that loft. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you put these in. Now, how do you, so far, you like them? Yeah, I think it's better. A and how does it, it work? It feels a little bit warmer inside the loft. Really? Because inside the loft, you can see that here it's stone. Right. And now we make it in wood. Because we are the level up up here from the F area. And then I make it eagle with wood. And that gives a warmer feeling. Right. And, and ah, maybe, maybe so. But the, everything else still in the section is still the same, though. Yes. Yeah. You can see it here. Oh, I see. It's all level now. That's the same level. And that is wood now. Wow. There's some nice pigeons here. And when you, when you let them out, they come out through here. And let them out land through here. Out they go. And, and this, then, this is what, for drinkers? Yes. Oh, let's see. But here it's not... Not hooked up yet. Not. They are too young. So that's where you practice drinking them for the transport. Yeah, for in the basket. And they clock through the top? Here. Ah. And the other side of four plates... Yeah, oh yeah, you see the pads, eh? Yeah. Pads underneath, so the clock right on top of here. Here, there, or there. It's and, and you use these as well? Only in the beginning, when there are a lot of pigeons and they don't fly, they are very young. Then you can sit here, check around. Go back and forth. Voila. That's... So these pigeons now, they're, they're on the regular dark. If you, when you wean off the babies, take them from the parents, put them in. If they don't look good, What's, uh, what do you do? Eliminate? Yeah, sure. Don't, what, don't mess around. What not good is not good. You know, try and fix it. No. Okay. Uh, th these young birds go out what? Once a day or twice? Outside. Yeah. Once a day. Once a day. Yeah. For all, all the whole season, once a day. Once a day. Yeah. And when you first start letting them out, you give them a few hours. And yeah. then once they start going good. Then we're going to train them very good. And, and you do like to train hard. Yes. You're a hard trainer. You drive them. You drive them a lot. Push, push, push. Yes. And, and uh, is that a new way? Yeah, we do that now for the last four or five years. And how do you find the results? Yeah, much better. Better. Yeah. Better than just loft line. Yes. What do you think? The birds are more sharp? More, uh, more focused? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they must train when you drive with them. Eh? Here it's a little bit hobby. <laughs> and all these sections here, that's all for young pigeons? Yes. And the yearlings. And the yearlings. I'm going to put them into the, in, with the young birds when the national races come. You're going to put them in with the young birds? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so pretty much that's just the darkening. You loft fly them once a day, uh, train by car, hard. Yeah. And good and, pigeons. And a lot of times. What about feeding? Anything special with the feed you no. do? We follow the Versailles. You use Versalaga, yeah. okay. Uh, uh, medications? All from uh, Todison 
okay. Schroeder. We follow that aspect. The same. Yeah. And and over here, what is this all for? Breeding? On the left side of the door, it's breeding. The plastic is because that's the northern side yeah. for the wind. Do you find it keeps it warmer? Yeah, it's a better feeling also for me when I work there. Then it's two Averias and some boxes there. Ah, okay. Because I remember you guys used to fly a lot of the long distance out yeah. there. There are still about 50 or 80 long distance pigeons, but out the last. And, and you guys had some good long distance results this year? Yeah. How did you do? The second provincial on Barcelona, and uh -huh. that uh, returns in the 19th national on Na Barcelona. 19th national. 40th international. So still good results. That was good. Good results. What made you guys want to get into other racing than the, than the, than the, the long distance? The long distance. We had a lot of uh, uh, folks here, how you say, birds of prey. Yeah, oh, we've seen that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's difficult to hold uh, pigeons here for two, three years. Well, Especially now in winter, we can't let them out much. And that's the main reason why we don't play Barcelona and the long distance. Just too much. Yeah. You lose too it's many. Too many, and it's too hard if you see a good pigeon taken by a bird of prey. That's the reason why we always sell our youngsters each year so you don't lose them <laughs> they go somewhere else how do you how do you found the results for people with your pigeons they're getting good you're getting a lot of feedback yeah they were very good always looking eh? yeah always looking always here. looking here yeah it's a, a wild pigeon yeah, the hawks don't seem to eat them. No, they, they, like, eat, they like the always mine pigeons. This is sushi here yeah, for yeah. pigeons. Okay, so you have another loft over there. Yeah. Young birds Also as well? for youngsters. And the same system as here with the Averia. Same results, pretty much. We thought uh, earlier that loft was better. Why? It's totally in wood. That it's from stone. Yeah, that was the main reason we built that loft. Just to, to try. prove that that was better. Now, what that was think? not good enough. What do you think? The last year it's here is very good now. I don't know. Tear it down. <laughs> but maybe we are better. Ah, maybe. The pigeons are better. You think? Yeah, I think. And how many uh, direct Vanderbilts did you acquire? What do you think? I think we buy about 100 directly Vanderbilts. But for the moment, they are last. I think, yeah, we, we test them, we raise them. Only the good will stay here. And uh, for the moment, I think we have about 30 directly from the Nabela here. So you, you've went through them, yep. made your gradings, make yep. your selection. Uh, when you're handling pigeons, what, what, do you, uh, what do you look for? The completely package. Complete package. Good wing, good bones, nice hat. I like the hat also. Nice round head, nice look, the smart. Eye. You like eye sign? It's it's nice when you have it. So you prefer it, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're looking for the whole pigeon. Yeah. And guys, you take a look. It's the whole package here. <laughs> this is the, I told you, does Trump live here? Does he come here to Belgium? What? Donald Trump. <laughs> this is where he would This is where he would stay. No, 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 no. We work harder. Oh, we, you work hard. <laughs> so, uh, only basically specializing in young birds. Pretty much. Pretty much. But so, I'm going to, we will do it also with yearlings this year and see how it is. And the oldest next year. Eh? So you're, you're evolving. Uh, what, what do you think about one loft racing? Are you guys into that? Not really. We live in Belgium and we have here so much beautiful races. I'm going to concentrate my here in Belgium. That, it makes sense. It's the best of the best. Again, you guys race the national races, great competition and birdage. You fly against thousands of pigeons. Yeah. So very uh, a very very high level. You want to show us some birds? Want to yeah. take a look? Let's see what we. What do you want to show? You 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 know you know you're at the candy shop, man. I go there. We go there. You guys ever use heat in your loft? With what? the heaters? You ever put heaters in the loft? No, I have them there, but I I don't. Sometimes when it's very, um, yeah, misty, uh, cool, cool, Damp. and 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 water, yeah. How do you say that? I know. And again, all graded floors. Here are my breeders. 
these are now still youngsters. You see how nice they are. Oh yeah, look at look at that guy right in the middle, eh? Yeah. Look at his little legs. Again, guys, Feathers Lee Pigeon Auctions bring it to you. White pigeon lofts. Quality second to none here. Oh, that little pied hen, what a beauty she is too. Again, beautiful, nice high ceilings. Again, clear plastic, which is good to let the light in. This light, this loft faces the north. So it does get light in. For, for a loft that faces the north, it gets beautiful natural light. Yeah. And you see- Yeah, the, the backside is uh, totally from plastic, huh? Plastic. Oh, here we got a pigeon. This is one of his favorites. That's one of my favorites, yeah. All right, Gear. Why is this one your favorite? Because uh, I like the bird. I buy him two years ago. It's a nest brother of one of our very best breeders. Mm -hmm. And this year, he was the father of the first national chateroux. Very nice. How would you describe him in your hands? It's a middle size pigeon. Mm -hmm. It's not big, it's not... It's a very good wing. Now, when you're looking at a wing, I see he's got a good vibration in your hand. Yeah. You can see it. You can see the motor fucking rumbling. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you like in a wing? Yeah, what you said that is a good, good vibration. Good vibration. It's a tight arm. Yeah, and he's good here. Yeah, nice strong, mm -hmm. eh? Nice strong. Uh, How do you say it? Uh, like a runner. Good yeah. leg muscles, eh? Yeah. Feather quality, nice. Yeah, super. Again, not a big pigeon. It's closed. T typical Gabby? Typical Gabby pigeon here. Nice eye. So you purchased this pigeon to bring him. You have a brother of this. Yes. Nest brother. Nest, you have the nest brother. So you buy this pigeon back or? No, we had the nest brother we have. Uh -huh. And he was father of the sixth and the 80th national. And we liked him very much. And then we had the possibility to buy that one. And that was the nest brother. And, and uh, the first year that we bred out them, mm -hmm. we bred the first national chateau last year. Well, I, I will tell you this, guys. When you pay 20000 to bring a nest brother back, you know these are the right pigeons. And you just see... Jesus. This is, this is shopping, man, right here. Holy jumping. There's a few pigeons in here. And again, you see the young pigeons... So you wean them off like this, what, for a week or two? No, I thought he can eat and that he, he learn to drink there. And what? then I'm going to remove them. What a super. Wow. Looks good. What one? The checker. Not a bad pigeon? I'm going to check. Oh. Same with this one here. Nice as well. Iron Man. That's, that's, that's a very good one. <laughs> He he got he got the he got the look like 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 a, oh man. He's a son of Stallone from Gabi van den Abela. I'm gonna give it to you. You're gonna say wow. He's a little bit more built than bigger. the last one, but bigger. Looks like about double the size, maybe. No, not double, but but big. Look here. Yeah, beautiful wing. Quality. He's from 18, and we had uh, several good pigeons from that one here. Again, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Actions, we bring it to you. What a beautiful pigeon. And the hen, who is he with? Um, that's uh, from Wim de Troy. I paired him with a, a hen from Wim de Troy. That's Miss. Come here. Sometimes it happens, eh? You pick the wrong box. I took him a lot, a few, two weeks ago from the basement. Normally he's in boxes <laughs> in the basement. Oh, he's... Guys, there's nothing wrong with when you go into the basement. I know you people think it's bad, but it's good. And, and these are all belt cleaned, eh? You like the belts? Yeah. The cleaning? Works good? It works. No problem? No problem. Here, that one you know, I think. Oh, this is another super cock down at the bottom. I don't know him. That's our Primus Inter Paris Barcelona. He's going... He was six times 
uh, in Barcelona. Yeah, I handle him. Yes. Yeah, and he's the third national Primus Inter Paris Barcelona so, in five years. So what does this mean? Explain. That he was five years after each, each five year. Five years in a row. Five yes, five years in a row to, to Barcelona, uh -huh. and he won his prize every time, every time, every time. And so uh, that was the third in Belgium, the third pigeon in Belgium. What can do that? He's only the third pigeon to do it. On this, on that, on that on time. That, on that time. So he was the third best. Yeah. You now, how many? Uh, this is a really stupid question, but how many thousands of pigeons was he competing against? If you think know. about it. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable, eh? And you have him now here for breeding. Yeah, for breeding. And I see each. Yeah? Little youngster. And you wrap the balls always in paper? Yes. What reason? Done. No nest pads either? No, never. Why? They can hook with the. With the, the feet? Yeah, with the feet into and. So no nesting material? No. Wow. I never seen this. this always, is new. always like that. We do a little bit of straw, uh -huh. but and the babies always come out nice. No always. problems. No problem. Some real nice pigeons in here. Oh, that's a nice hen in the corner. Eh? That's also from Wim de Troy. Well, and the breeders that you have here, this is the the best of the best. Is this first level, second level. <laughs> Because <laughs> no, I know here... This, this normally the, the best are in the basement. The best are in the basement. Here are also feeders. Okay. This. And, and again, how often are you cleaning out underneath? Now in the season, once a month. Once a month. When, it's, uh, when, when we're not breeding, we can do it a longer, longer time. Again, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Actions. We are here at White Pigeon Lofts. Geert Wagens, you've seen him on the show before, and now we're at the loft. I was here before. It was, tr it was a lot harder with your dad, eh? What? It was a lot harder communicating <laughs> with your dad. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful youngster, eh? Whew. It's nice, huh? Oh, yeah. You look at the quality. Quality second to none. Will you bathe them in here as well? Give them a bath? Yeah, yeah. Here, always give a bath here yeah. because there's a, the water came through the oh, yeah. concrete. Yeah, you drain the water right through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, how did your dad come up with this design? I don't know. Was he crazy or like, I mean, he, your mom's got to be the best. He, <laughs> <laughs> we do, he, do, he does what he wants to do, I think. I never seen, Especially in pigeons. i never seen a loft like this. It's like, is it built for the man or for the pigeons? Both. Both. And he built it on his own with his friend. No. Yes. What, what, by hand? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Unbelievable. What do we have in here? Here I must clean next week. Ah, oh, that's okay. Again, breeders or are, are, are switchers? Both. Both. We're going to uh, in the basement. You see Benny? Mm -hmm. Ben? Here is. This is brother? No. There is. I Th think he's in the basement. He's in the basement, that's okay. Yeah. And babies all look good. Mata, Mata. Look at the look at the nice health on them. And the belt, she just run them what? Every couple days? Every few days? What? The the tracks. Normally each day. Each day. Yeah. Jesus. What a setup this is. You know, and all you got to do to be a pigeon in this loft is produce winners or win yourself. But you don't want to win too much because then you sell them. Then you go to you don't go to such a nice place. Hey, what what about uh, medication for these hen uh, for the breeders? Anything you use? 
Anything special you're using all the time? No. Or it's vitamins? Vitamins, have it or something like that. I don't know. No, nothing? Nothing. Nothing special. Nothing special. Super. And here you see. There we see. Look at the mix. Real simple. Nothing fancy. No. It's, food? That's what it is. That's the food. Buyers, eh? Buyers no, versus Laga? Uh... Ah, they were. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, for sale this Laga. This one, yeah, versus Laga. I see it there. And these are what, your distance pigeons? That's are the long distance pigeons. And when do you start letting these guys out? Soon? Soon. Once a day? When, once a day. And yeah, we, we must check out with the birds of prey. That's very difficult here. Guys, I was here. We've seen, I think, already five or six. Yeah. Here also, hands. All distance, eh? All long distance. And for you to get these birds, uh, it, it's it's a, what multi multi year process. It takes how many years? Three years for to get them in Barcelona. Because I remember four years ago when I was here, your dad was breeding like two hundred for the yeah. long distance, and he had to keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them. A lot of work, eh? Yeah, and then when you lost so much uh, birds and on, on the on the bird of prey, it's it's it's, it's tricky, eh? Yes. Again, quality out of this world, separate the hens. For, so for Barcelona, will you pair them up or how do you do that? These are the youngsters from last year. Where I race with, these are my... They're going to remove them to there. You're going to remove them? Yeah. So last year they sat there on that loft. So now you move them over in with yeah. the young birds there. With the young birds. Now you, you're not thinking of just putting them back over there. No, you're going to put them... No, no, where they, where they lived last where year. Where they lived last year. Yeah, yeah. And are these the best of the best or these are real good ones? I, they're best of the best. Only hens. Only hens. Jeez, which one would I pick? This hen's real nice here, this blue. Right there. Nice hen. Again, all Van and Abiel blood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, he is. She is. Again, you see, they're not big pigeons at all. It's a, it's a middle size. Super, super rich in the eye. And these pigeons, they flew last year how many weeks? How many races? All the nationals? All the nationals from the beginning till the end of the season. So from May until September. There's another real nice hen. That one here I know. This is a good one. And same with the one beside her. This one is a youngster from Golden Rudy. Mm -hmm. So she is a grandchild of the famous Rudy of Van der Nabele. Okay. And last year she won the sixth national Chateau. This pigeon. This pigeon. I knew him on that one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's she, the 501. 501. So you're going to play her again this yes, year? Yes, 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 yes. And for a pigeon like this to get into your breeding program, what is it? How, how do you bring... Because... We think that this year to put them on the breeding loft, but I want good pigeons for the next races this year. This, we're going to play them. So these ones you're going to move, and when will you move them over? Next week or the week after. And they're not going to be paired up at all, no? We must learn that. I don't know who we're going to do that. I have rolls also for the loft there. You have what? Rolls. That rollers? Had, yeah, rollers. That he, that really? He, yeah. Even for the babies? No, for that one. I, I don't know how we're going to do it. We must see it. This we is must a, figure this it is, out. This is a mystery, eh? Because they're going to want to pair, no problem. Oh. Can you imagine the round of babies you can that get out one, of these heads? That one is also beautiful. Oh, yeah. She's gorgeous. She, she had a little bit of paint she, on her face. She won last year the first National Zona Argento. So first national zone, what would that mean for people so they yeah, can understand when they see zone? Then it's the country of Belgium, um, 
in four zones and four strips. Cut into four. Yeah. So in her zone, she's she first. was the first. He's very nice. Oh yeah. They're all. They look very muscular. Not very long. You can see the feathers are painted on. Super condition already. Quality, quality, quality here, white pigeon loss. But when you build your loft at your house, you're going to make a black one? <laughs> Not a white one. It's nope. a, a wood color. A wood color, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> and again, pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. You guys have had a lot of good success with the long distance pigeons, now with these Gabby pigeons. Just yeah. getting better and better. Take a look, guys. Oh, that yeah. was the direction of the two national winners the last year. They came wing and wing Together. from there. Yeah. You still have them? No, they are sold to China. Oh, the Chinese win again. Sorry. <laughs> but I have the them. parents. You have, uh, now, what do you think? Is that, would you have, here's a question. Would you have rather sold the parents? No. Or the winner? No, winner. Why? Because I can bred brothers and sisters. Okay. So you'd rather sell the, the winner itself? What? You'd rather sell the winners than, than the parents? Yeah. Maybe next year I don't sell them anymore. I don't know. Of I'm course, it'll probably be the year I want to buy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to show you the basement. Okay, we're going into the basement, guys. Remember. I remember a few years ago I came here. Your dad kept pointing to the basement. He showed me the map. I remember the map. Look at the map. 3D map. You show me, you say to me in Belgium, here is Belgium. Okay. Just here we are on the eastern side. Mm -hmm. If the wind is like there, then it's good for us. But if the wind is from here, the parents were all blowing to there. Just here is the best place to, to play. To play with the pigeons. You know what? You need to we need to take this loft and move it here. Yeah. We could, eh? That was that was the that was a dream. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are here with Geert Wagens. It's difficult in English, eh? I don't know. I remember the wheels. Did you guys make these wheels yourself? Uh, that, that's the wheels what we said, yeah? yeah? Yeah. You made these? Yeah, yeah. How do you find them work? Good? That's work perfect. They don't the want to sit on them. Pigeons can't still, they're they, 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 they always rolling off and, and they must go sit on a... On a, on a perch? On, yes. So you don't lock the hens up in boxes? No. No. You need the, the proper password to get down into the basement. <laughs> this was this. Here was my place. This is where you were. <laughs> this was your old. Here bedroom. I'm happy. Oh, this is it, eh? Yeah. The best of the best. Now in this basement, they don't get any sunlight. No. How does it work? Good? Not so good? They have well natural light from there. Uh huh. But sunlight, no. But they stay here until April and then they go to the upstairs. So they come in here, what, about November? December, November, December, until April. Four or five months. Four or five months. They are here. But the pigeons are in good condition. If, if, if I'm going to show you one, I say, wow, it's, they are good. I give you also a bot here. Right, and, and, and the, the section's wide enough the pigeons can move. Yeah. I okay. think that's very important, but look at look at the detail, eh? Jeez, one of this is I think this is the nicest individual breeding pens I ever seen. And all that's the mother of the first national last year. Look at her chest, eh? Look at the two tones. She's from color. twelve. Gabby? Yes, hundred percent. Martin, she calls she, uh, she's wonderful. What a beautiful hen. Again, I love the two tone eh? on yeah. the chest. I think she is our best breeding hen because she is mother of Suzanne and she's a car winner. 
She's now mother of the first national from several top pigeons. This was very good. Again, beautiful, beautiful hen. And the cock, who do you have her to? The cock is from Patrick Vervlusum. It's from his super breeding couple. I don't know much from that one. That's the reason why I put my best hen against them. Now, is Patrick's Gabby's as well? No. No. So this is a cross. Cross. So you put this to your very best. Yeah. You got a lot of faith here. Wow. I, I believe in Patrick. Patrick believes in us. Now we... The pigeons in here, they breed... Uh, you switch the eggs from them? Yeah. So they never rear? No. No. That one. Father, here you can read it. Father, first national. 28,000 pigeons. And so, 20. So this is the father? Yes. Now I'm going to ask you, Gabby again? No, that one not. The grizzle? <laughs> There's also not from Gabby. That's a different. Different? Yeah. Nice pigeon? You that like? That one is amazing. He's your favorite, eh? Have you ever put him to her? No. Yeah. Maybe. Here it's Benny. Upstairs I get you Ben, a nest brother from... Right. He's father of uh, six national chateau, two, 20... Hey, look at this. First national chateau, 18,000 pigeons. Father of the 20, uh, 22nd national mm -hmm. people ranking. And then all young pigeons. So winning instantly. The results from, from these pigeons. Was imme Quick. Immediately good. Immediately good. This is what Here this was is. the box of Ben, the brother, what you see upstairs, uh -huh. but I put them there. You move them. And again... Here's another one. You see how the nice... And they pull out, you can clean them easy. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's How do you a, say that in English? In a drawer. Yeah. Here's a question. You've got the grates. I know what the answer is to this, but why do you have the little piece of, of wood? What's the reason for that? The cock is... Uh, can and uh, tread the hen better. Yeah, yeah, that's the, more that's, comfortable. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a little bed, and kind of. Yeah, and he can move a little bit better there. Flirt with her. Yeah, that's her. That's what. And, and they normally tread, I would say, on the on the little piece of wood. Again, you don't smell no pigeons in here. No. And how, you have what? How Ele many, Eleven how many? boxes. Tw Twenty-two pigeons here. Twenty-two pigeons. From the. That's a son of Kaasburg. Okay. From uh, Patrick Vervlusum. Again, father to 11 national ace in 2022. Third national people ranking. Good pigeons. Good. <laughs> All the pigeons in here. Oh, look at this. Another nice one, eh? Look at the chest on him. That's also one I buy last year. Really? Yeah. He's a son, a brother of a first national winner. How often do you bring pigeons in? Are you always looking? Always. What do you look for? Good, good, nice pigeons. Good, nice pigeons. When you say people that buy pigeons, people are going to look, watch a video, we do an auction. What should they, like, give them your insights of looking when you go and buy a pigeon? What are you looking at? What's the whole... It all has to be for you. The the whole packet of the pigeon must be good. The pigeon is not too big, not too small, a good wing. Everything must be good. And I must have confidence in that person. And and, and the pedigree, can it be children, grandchildren, or you want directly always supers? Directly. The closest you can get. The closest as you can get. Closer the better. And it's worked and for I, you guys pretty much. This I is think it works. <laughs> Again, pigeon by pigeon, guys. Holiday. It's a pigeon from Patrick, uh, no, Van Wim de Troy. Always with her. She's a uh, Van den Abele pigeon. And last year we had also a first national zone. Take a look at this. Beautiful. He's very beautiful, yeah. Yeah. It's a good you one. see all the qualities here in these pigeons. That's Stevie Wonder, the checkered. He's a child of the black one, what you said, you see there. Yeah. The black one was father of the first national Right. He's father of the second national Chateau. So 
So there it goes. Father, son. Father, son. Producing winners. That's what I must have. You can't beat that. Now, oh, we got a little different setup in this one. This is, this is something different. What are yeah. we doing here? We thought the hand wasn't, uh, was not happy with an, a combination like that. So, so they I didn't like the penthouse. Voila, and I take the box, <laughs> I put it there and it works. It instantly works. So you, you, you must see what the pigeon want. Guys, this all looks beautiful for us, the people. You guys put this in, you notice the hen's not enjoying it, or, or, or wasn't getting the result you're looking for. Yeah, she was not happy there. That's, that's what I saw. So you, you make an adjustment, and then bang. Voila. Good pigeon men, guys. Last year, huh? <laughs> Take a look. Ace pigeon again. Iron Man is also upstairs. I show it to you. Yes. That's his father. What well, there is. She is directly from the Nabela. I can show them to you if you want. Yeah, it's up to you. It's a very Thank nice you. bird. Again, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Hey, so boy. Once about April, the end of April comes, these all come out. Yeah. And that's it for the season. And then we clean everything. Everything is nice. Ah, oh, that's, that's a beautiful pigeon. A little longer, eh? Oh yeah, you can see the condition on the main. The feathers are painted right on. Yes. And how, how old is he? He's old. No, for 14. 14. Still good. Still good. Good shape. And you will fly the children from him? What is a fly? You, you, you fly? Yeah. Everything flies. Everything is flying. I bred for me for race. And after my patients, then you can buy something or... Yeah, you look, you, you like to play but, even out of the direct good ones. Yes. You play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the hen's beautiful too, eh? She's also from Wim de Troy. Oh, yeah. Character, character, character. Here, white pigeon lost. Everything's white. Even in the basement, it's white. <laughs> what, what more can you say? It's all here. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You want the very best collection of Gabby Van and the Beals that are winning. They're not bred for breeding, for breeding, for breeding, for breeding. No, no, these are winners. You've went through them all. Yeah. You've weeded out the ones that were expensive that didn't do it. You weeded them all out. You found the ones that do it. I don't have nothing on pigeons but not good enough. They must be good and then you come here. That's, this, is, this is where you want to end. Yeah, that's what it is. Unbelievable. I want to thank you, man, for taking us and just showing the details. Your family puts super detail into the pigeons. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Like, maybe the nicest loft I've ever been to. Yeah? Yeah, I've been a lot. Yeah, you've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. Some of them aren't so nice, whatever. They're, they're pigeon lofts. This is, like, uh, this is like a Cadillac for pigeons. <laughs> and the, the quality of the pigeons, you can see it. That's, I like... And that's more, the most important. With the quality. Yeah. Uh, the pigeons, uh, I mean, guys, you take it. All these boxes are great. And everything's great. But if there's no quality, you got nothing. I have nothing, eh? And results, results, results. They don't live in the best spot in Belgium. The wind's normally not with you. Some year is better than the other year. Eh? I, yeah. But no, no excuses. You work the pigeons hard. And you fly partners with your dad. Yeah. How is he to fly with? What? How is he to, to fly pigeons with? Good? My daddy is a winner, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and how, how did you get into, uh, get into it? Yeah, when I was a boy like that, I would run with my dad in the lofts, and yeah. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Pigeons, it's always pigeon here, huh? And you're always, uh, you never get sick of it? No. No, it's, it's in you. You got the sickness. Yeah. I like it. How I dream you? about it. How, how can you not, eh? <laughs> You're lucky you're not a pigeon. So what do you guys plan on doing next? What, what's, your big, uh, what's your big goals here? What do you mean? No, what, do you, what do you want to achieve this season that you yeah. didn't achieve in the past? This year on the national races. That's the main thing. National races is where it's at. And again, these pigeons, how do you find them work in headwinds? They good? Yes. Tailwinds are good? Tailwinds are good, yeah. This year they make 
1542 meters, just the uh, tailwind, and we made it further than a second national. But it's a headwind and it's 1100 meters, it's also good for the pigeons. So these pigeons will do all types of wind. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't and, matter. And, and you'll play with the young pigeons how many weeks in a season? Oh, when we start, the end of uh, May, and the last national flight is half September, I think. And those young pigeons go from that time all the way. Every week. Every week. Pigeons can't do it, you're eliminated. Yeah. Pretty much. They must do that. Guys, as you see. Sorry, I telephone. Yeah, Feathers Elite Pigeon yeah, Options. As you see, guys, we're going to wrap this up here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. It's all about the rebroadcast. Here, what can I say? Season 6 is coming fast. We're going to be back here to select a very small group of super pigeons. And yes, guys, these have the super Gabby Van and Abils that are going to win for you. You want the results? Trust them. Take a look. They leave no stone unturned. Even when the loss were this beautiful, which they wanted to get even better, they went to another level. And again, you always want to end off in the basement. You should see it late at night, he sleeps. He's got a little <laughs> cot there where he sleeps. <laughs> Geert, thank you, eh, for showing us this. No problem. It's, uh, it's always awesome to come here. And I'm going to give you one of the best pigeons, what you can imagine. When? For your auction. Oh, shit. We're getting nervous, guys. Let's not get nervous. Let's, we got to wait till season six. Hey, again, thanks for taking the time. I always appreciate you coming on the show. I got to say another thing. I was here four years ago with your dad. He couldn't speak any English, almost zero. But you know what? He gave me his very, very best that day. And uh, I remember it, uh, one of my favorite loft tours ever with, all, with no English. Yeah. So, uh, hey, thank you very much. Okay, see you. We're going to wrap right. this up, guys. Thanks for flying with us from the White Pigeon Lofts. I'm going to go find Donald Trump. He's somewhere here. Bye for now. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.